Hey everybody, how we doing today? Pretty beautiful day here in the Florida Keys. At least the wind is down, kind of cloudy, so that's a little bit rough. But we're expecting some bad weather for the next week. So I wanted to make sure I took advantage of this last low wind day. So we are out here and Little Spanish Key is on the menu today for our prospecting trip. Uh, a couple videos ago, we were targeted uh, Big uh, Spanish Key, which is there. Uh, did real, really well over there. So we're gonna check out Little Spanish Key. And I don't even, that's just a little segment of it. Uh, this key here is kind of not so pronounced, not, doesn't have a lot of extra features. It's primarily just the island. I didn't see any lagoons inside that are gonna be filling up and draining. I didn't see really any cut throughs on the edges, corners. Um, all it has is that second little island. But uh, I saw some kind of flats areas around it that uh, I have been finding those redfish and uh, uh, snook and uh, tarpon in, so we'll have to see. But I'm gonna do a quickie run around, see if I can find some bait, see if I can find some fish and good structure and maybe find some missing channels or whatnot. So uh, that's the plan. All right, we're here at the island. Uh, first impressions are is this one got whacked or it got more damaged by Irma than the uh, the big uh, Spanish key. Uh, it does open things up, uh, a lot of structure with these downed trees. Visibility is pretty good. However, right now we are at pretty high tide because I can see water going all the way back in there. So that's where the fish are at. But uh, we'll do a quick circle around and uh, see what we see. So you can see uh, it got damaged pretty bad and it's not recovering awful fast. Uh, when the water starts decreasing, it'll make things a little easier because they're just going to be little blotches of uh, live uh, mangrove trees where there's actual true overhangs so that'll be more areas to focus on and not just randomly so all of this is great structure that goes way back in there but there's just too much structure yeah these aren't the best conditions <laughs> no sun or while well, it's probably popping through got a bit windy and choppy on that side so i'm rounding the corner so i'm on the more northern side of it See how deep that water goes in. I'm just trying to see if I can spot anything. There's no way I can see anything on that side. This is much better. So you can see which way that storm blew and just kind of killed everything on that side. But over here is all pretty healthy. But you can see how far that goes in there. So it's no chance for me to really see much out here. I'm actually looking for pilchards. I have a feeling I'm going to find it on that uh, the leeward side. All right, I'm on the leeward side, so this side's going to be the more calm area. So I'm just going to take my time and just work these sides. Um, I can still kind of see, even though it's like super deep. I couldn't even cast as far as the water goes in that way, so not expecting much. But uh, I am seeing some bait, so hopefully I could find some in here. But uh, even then, it'll be tough to net them because it's so deep right now. But we'll take a look. Yeah, this kind of silty cove looks all sorts of redfish, snook, tarpon. Uh, that is when the water drops and forces them out of these trees. Seeing quite a few little sharks in here, so it's healthy. I haven't found any bait yet, but yeah, definitely. Man, lots of sharks. Ooh, I was wrong. Look at this. Oh, shark. Shark going in the trees there. Hey, hey. Being aggressive. But we got a nice channel going right through here. I didn't see that on Google Earth. Nice. Now this is what I'm talking about. Look at this. Got this tiny little opening here. And I see a nice big lagoon. And that doesn't even show on the Google Earth. I could barely get in here. Now this has redfish written all over it, but the water is so high right now. Got snappers, that's good. Ooh, squeeze through here. 
Look at this. Find a big old school of pilchards in here, I'd be really happy. Ah. I wonder if, no, I couldn't open up over there. Where the heck did this come from? Oh, it opens up there. All right. Well, I'm as far back in as this little cut goes, but I can see the water is flooding through. So this water goes all the way across to the other side. So the fish can just swim from this side to the outside. I can never even cast in there. So they have basically full roam of this island when it's high tide like this. So that really kind of, eh, snappers. But uh, so that really limits things. Plus there's really not a lot of structure because these are all dead. So it's not going to attract a ton of other life. So it is kind of barren, but good to know. All right, I found some nice pilchards here. So I'm trying not to spook them too much. So they stay in this pocket right here. So I can come back to get them if I need them. Still working around. I think just around the corner there was where I started. So I uh, found another batch of nice sized pilchards here. These are good ones too. Sneak on by, see how big these are. It goes all the way along here. There's nothing chasing these guys at the moment. Yeah, this whole side is just full of pilchards there. It runs all along there. Yeah, this corner looks like a nice ambush spot. Kind of tapers in like they'd be going in and out of this hole here. There's some big uh, jumbo pilchards here already, but oh yeah, see, knew there'd be stuff around here. Just not exactly what I'm looking for. Ah, we have another inlet. Hidden inlet. Let's see what this one looks like. Another pretty big one. Oh, I think that was sharks. Now let's take a look around. All right, and we made it back to the southern corner. So we've done for old circle. Seen a lot of interesting things. Uh, found out the uh, Google Maps. Missing a whole bunch of stuff, all those inlets. So uh, good at checking them out. So now I think uh, the only thing I could really do is uh, I'm going to go hang around where the, uh, the side where the um, pilchards are and then just kind of wait for the water levels to drop and see what happens. It's just too deep right now. I'll take a look and see what the uh, tide levels are if I can get to internet. So let's check it out. All right, so here's the tide tables for over here. Um, we just crested the uh, high tide right there. Uh, low tide is a little after nine o'clock. Uh, it's 3:42 right now. Uh, fishable levels, I think, will be when it gets below one foot to a plus 0.5, and we're not looking to see that until right around seven o'clock. So uh, it's not going to get low enough to really push much fish out. So I might just cast net uh, a few of these pilchards and then play around a bit and just see what happens and hang out as long as I can. And if not, we'll just have to come back out here on a better day. Well, the water is slowly, slowly, slowly dropping. So I think what I'm gonna do is uh, cast net these pilchards that have been just kind of hanging out here. They're real nice size ones. I don't want a lot. See all of them here. Uh, just what I can kind of keep alive in my bucket. And then um, I'll just drift the edge and if I see any fish i'll just kind of throw it at them i put a um cobra jig head the quarter ounce on there so i could just nose hook them and then flick them in places so let's throw on these guys not get too many hopefully all right let's see if we can throw on these they're kind of sketched out oh nice throw distance wise all right let's see what we got here as this sparkles, yeah, I think we did good. I think that'll work perfecto. 
Yeah, those are nice chunkers. Beautiful. I don't want all of those. Just so I have enough to keep alive easily. Look how big these dudes are. I gotta fix that hole in my net. All right, we got a nice bucket of some really nice chunky uh, pilchards here. So those will work great for some pitch baits. And if they die, I could just use them for chunks. So let's see what we can find. All right, I was coming on to this dark spot and then I actually saw some tails popping up. I had to drop the anchor real quick so that probably spooked them, but I think I'm gonna work this corner with these baits. Just keep chucking them out. Just gonna chin hook them. Solid way, just go through the bottom of the chin and then out that hard part right in their nose. And it'll allow me to cast still gently, but it'll allow me to flick them fairly well. I saw some uh, movement over there. Oh think something's got it or yep oh oh Look, he's playing with it oh that cut me off that had to have been a shark yep sucker no yeah, that took my leader and everything. Dang it. There's tarpon in here just munching on these. And that whatever creature got mine uh, just ate uh, my leader, so I gotta put a new leader on. Oh, see, those are the tarpon there. <laughs> I've got that flute, but I don't wanna lose it. So we're going to tie a quick uh, leader on and I think I might do a circle hook. Oh, they're in here and they're excited. So grab one of these guys. I'm going to go from nose side to nose side, cartilage to cartilage kind of a hard spot just got some 20 pound leader they're right there so I don't want to catch one right there I'm gonna check my drag oh golly got one right there <laughs> told you'd come and get it oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> They were coming up right there when I was throwing stuff out, so. I couldn't even cast it, it got on there so fast. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I saw him tailing when I came in here, so knew they'd be here. Threw a few out for a tasty treat. And they're more than happy to come. Oh, I gotta figure out how to get them over here to land them. Get away from that rope, get away from tree. Oh, rope, 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 rope. Get over here, get on this side. No, you don't get to go that way. Oh, no, anchor. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, rope. All right, be done. I've got other fish to catch. I just want to release you. Don't break my leader. I want to cast. Oh, 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 dang it. Get out of the kayak. Right. 
He's still got the pilchard in his mouth. All I know is I don't want to, I don't want a circle hook in my hand. Oh. You're just gonna keep going until I get hurt, aren't you? There you go. Stop, stop. Roll that out. There we go. All day long, baby. Bucket of pilchards and get tarpon. All right, let me cast, catch one now by casting. Let's see if a good old fluke will work. I have a feeling that it will do fine. Make sure my drag is set. Oh, oh, something got it. There's something else down there besides the tarpon. No, those are tarpon. They're coming right here to the boat to get it. Yeah, those are tarpon. They're just like being a little bit picky. We'll get one here. Oh, oh, dang it. Oh, don't get stuck in here. Come on. A little bit faster retrieve. Dun up, dun up. Oh, oh, he spit it. Dun up, dun up. Oh, oh, dang it. <laughs> I wonder if they'll eat a, uh, a crab. I bet you they would. I can get one here. Are they getting smart on me? Dang it. Freaking bass set. This thing is all ripped up. on this side of me to be better oh no, they're over there playing with me playing with me oh, oh I think we got one jump Oh, that doesn't seem to be the right species. I don't think that's the right species. Dang it, that was sharked. Dang it, dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Leave me the hook. Nope, leave me the leader. Yep, just cut me there. All right, quick hook change and we'll be back at it. something. Oh. Caught up on this reel. All right. Who's that? Cuda? Ladyfish? Snapper? Oh, no, no, no. Ah, you can eat it. That's just a cuda. That's a big shark. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Whoa. <laughs> I 
Oh, there he is. Now I could see you. Looks like a lemon shark. Can't see. Bit murky. Oh, oh, he's coming. <laughs> All right, I'm done messing with you. I don't want to lose my hand. I don't want to get stinky. But what you gonna do? All right. Run! Don't dilly daddle. Don't eat my hand. Don't eat my hand. All right, I think I'm gonna call it. Still got a bit of sun there, but I want to get back in time so I don't get nailed with mosquitoes at the launch. Uh, but that is a uh, little Spanish key. So I did a good job checking everything out. So I got some tarpon spots. Uh, I imagine there's quite a few tarpon spots, but uh, I'm sure there's reds and snook built in here as well. But it's a matter of hitting the tides just right. Now, right now would be the perfect time. Um, it's dropped about a foot since I was kind of commenting on the height. You can kind of see the, the, the green of the trees is the water level and at the high point and then below that there's about a foot so within a short time here all those uh, flooded areas are going to get too thin and that's going to drive all those fish that are all in that island outside the island and they'll hang around the edge and if that gets too thin then they'll push out here into the channel but uh probably a three four five hour earlier tide then it'd be perfect for me that way i have sun i could see sight fish Get them all along these edges. I just followed around and sight fish, find a spot, chum them up, and then I could just hammer them. But I found some here. Uh, another strategy would be if I was staying out later, I would just anchor up here, uh, get my monocular, and just watch the edges looking for a tarpon rolling. And I would know that's kind of where they're coming out at. So, but anyways, and um, thanks for watching, and I will see you in next video. Bye.